All right, so in today's video, let's say uh, you bought one of these DCX Nanos or one of those knockoff MDI modules, and you're trying to program a new radio in your GM LAN 29 because you get the old, come on. You get the old lock message and you wanted to have a uh, free range to unlock radios, but you're having trouble because the uh, you can't find it anywhere in the menu. Well, I'm gonna show you the secret hack on how to get that after the intro. All right. I got my Nano hooked up to the USB ignitions on. I've ran the VX manager. Now we're gonna run tech to win And the key to it is, I will post links in the, in the uh, description. You have to go in and roll back the software version. Or I'm sorry, the firmware version. So I went and rolled it back to version 30.004. And you'll see that as soon as it boots up here. See that? 30.004. You need this version. Now the software that comes with this VCX Nano, it's 33.004. And in that version, all the uh, VIN unlocking for the radios is completely erased. So here's what we're going to do. Oh, and the other thing, too, is you have to use this keypad. You can't click on whatever's on the screen on this version. It doesn't work. So we're going to set the car up. See, it gives you this, but we're going to enter anyway. We don't care. We're going to set the car. Oh, Christ, was it SPS? I think that's what it was. Or is it diagnostic? Man, now I don't remember. We're going to set this as a 2006... 2006, oh, here we go, enter, passenger car, Chevrolet, and we got to scroll down to W, W, we're going to set it as a Monte Carlo LTZ, okay, and we're going to go, I think it's in body and accessories, entertainment and we're gonna go to I think it's module setup radio VIN relearn okay make sure I'm hooked up right here Make sure, yeah, we're getting, oh, it's communicating. Okay, there we go. Do you want to clear the radio theft information? Begin clearing. Enter. Or do I hit this? How do I do it? Please cycle the ignition. See, now it says no VIN. Okay, door, I have the door open. I think you have to do this a couple times. I think I have to cycle the ignition a couple times, but see it went from lock to no VIN. Do I go back to here? Maybe I have to click enter on here. Or do I just disconnect the nano? exit out of here okay there we go now we're working there we go you have to exit out so now it works I'm gonna turn the volume down but here we go so I will post links so you have to go you have to go online 
and you have to find it comes in a zip file and you have to find the uh that 30.004 30.004 there's a video i'll link to that shows you how to change that out and i kept an, an image of my original 33.004 in case i want to go back to it um, now when you download that file and un unzip it, it's going to ask for a password, um, on that page of that forum that I linked to, the password is at the very end of the page. It's something like, oh man, it's something junky. It's like MHH auto space junky is the password, but you have to enter that in when you unzip the the file for the 30.004 it's a bin or bin file so do that follow the instructions that the links i showed you and you can unlock your radio um just remember you got to set it for a 2006 monte carlo ltz and that's where it's at so if this was helpful in any way make sure you give me a thumbs up and comment and subscribe and ring the bell help support my channel and we'll uh, catch you in the next video you know i'll probably be adding a backup camera to this so <laughs> i've already been there done that but this was in my old car i'm putting it in my stepson's car now so that's a whole other video series if you want to know how the MyLink radio how you can integrate that into your impala or Monty or tahoe or silverado whatever go back into the archives of my channel I'll show you how it's done. Anyways, uh, see you in the next video.